graduation to me is a celebration of all our hard work and a moment of rest and spending time with friends and family before moving on to the next big thing. My most impactful college experience has got to be Scout. It's a student organization and you get real world experiences and I think I really met the most inspiring people I know here at Northeastern University. Graduation to me really just means a culmination of all the experiences I've had in CAMD and at the university at large. I feel like I really come away with the skills and the education to prepare me. So for me, it's just an exciting next step. I think for me, graduation means that I was able to find out what I was really passionate about, and now I get to go into the world and just go for it. Graduation is just the beginning. Take it slow, continue with your passions, but make sure to rest. Graduation means to me that I've kind of made it through my college experience. I've done all of these really incredible projects, and I've made it through some really hard times. What graduation means to me is a moment to just reflect on the past four years, to celebrate everything I've been able to achieve and be proud of it, and to be excited for what comes next. I'm not quite sure what graduation means to me right now, but it definitely means a lot to my parents. And I just wanna say thank you for always been there and then support me in my up and down. I would tell my first year self that it's just not that serious to really take the time to enjoy college while investing in the academic opportunities and the extracurricular opportunities. Just remember to take it all in because it does go by really fast. Be patient. You will learn. You will fail. You will be successful. Take your time. Be living in the moment and enjoy every single time here. I think I would tell my first year self to probably smile more, say hi to people, start conversations because you never really know where you're gonna end up and who you're gonna meet. And I think to stop worrying so much. I think I worried a lot during college and now that I'm here, I realized I don't really have a lot to worry about anymore. Go out for the activities you want to do and just have fun. College flies by and you want to take advantage of everything you can. Stop stressing out too much, you'll be fine. I think that's what I would tell my first year self is uh, the next four years are going to be a lot of things. It's going to be a lot of changing. It's going to be a lot of different things coming at you. Um, and just kind of go with the flow. Don't stress out too much. You're not going to figure it out on day one. Hopefully you'll be one step closer by the end of your four years. I would tell my first year self to say yes to all the opportunities to create that excited me. There have been so many times where I'm like studying for a test, uh, but also said yes to directing a show. And sitting here four years later, I'm so glad that I said yes to the moments that made me feel creative, to the moments that made me feel like I was making something in this world that mattered and where I was furthering um, my ideas. I think for me, what I love most about my time at Northeastern and in CAMD really was the relationships I've come out of it with. My favorite thing about CAMD, the department, and everything else was that every single thing I learned had a real world application. I think what I loved most about my time in Northeastern is just how wonderful the professors were and how eager they were to really get to know you as a student and to really put every opportunity in front of you and to help you out in any way possible. Um, that level of commitment and that passion for the students is something I definitely didn't think would happen my first stay on campus, um, but it's something that has stayed consistent throughout every year in Northeastern. It's actually really great that we're part of a STEM school because I think kids have such a varied background when they come into CAMD and you see that in all our projects and I think that's great. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Tim Blank. I am the Assistant Dean for Student Experience, and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the College of Arts, Media, and Design graduation celebration.
Before we begin, I have a few items to address. First, for your safety, please take a moment to locate the two exits closest to you. In the unlikely event of an emergency, please proceed calmly to the closest available exit. Second, if there are any open seats in your row, please fill in toward the center so that latecomers can be seated easily. And lastly, at this time, please silence your cell phones and all other electronic devices. Thank you. Grand Marshal Professor Leon Janikian will now lead the procession of the platform party and Chief Marshals Dan Kennedy and Dave Herlihy. They will lead the procession of faculty and graduating students. Would all guests please rise if you are able and please remain standing until you are asked to be seated.
Once again, welcome to the 2023 College of Arts, Media, and Design graduation celebration!
Wow. Wow. All these beautiful faces. Please be seated. Once again, I'd like to welcome all of our guests, our amazing faculty and staff, but most importantly, the class of 2023. <laughs> Candidates, you've accomplished something extraordinary, and today we are here to celebrate you. So once again, please join me in giving our candidates a well-deserved round of applause. And it's my pleasure to introduce this amazing human to my right, the Dean of the College of Arts, Media, and Design, Elizabeth Hudson. Hello, everybody. Welcome. On behalf of Northeastern University Provost David Madigan and Vice Provost Jane Amado, who's here with us today, and all the faculty and administration at CAMD, we are so proud to be here to celebrate your accomplishments and to honor the learning experiences that have brought you here today. First of all, will the members of the class of 2023 please rise? All of you. Hello, CAMD. We are small but mighty, and don't forget tomorrow in our two ceremonies to make yourselves heard at Fenway Park. Camdy always succeeds in making a bigger sound than our numbers, so don't fall behind. It's so great to see you all together as a group today, looking happy and proud in your regalia. You are a special group, one whose academic experience faced many challenges that have not been typically part of an academic journey. You began your studies in one world and have brought them to culmination in another. And as you've been growing into scholars, creators, change makers, the world around you has been reshaped. I'm so impressed with the resilience and optimism with which you face this reality. And while I'm sure it wasn't anything you would have chosen, I do know that facing these changes has made you very well equipped to take on huge challenges in whatever comes next. But this is a special moment for you. Surrounded by an arena full of your closest supporters, Take a moment to look around to see the family and friends who supported you, the faculty and advisors who've guided you along the way, and many of the administrators, staff, and community members working behind the scenes to make your experience here a great way. Graduating students, let's take a moment to give a round of applause to all those here today who have helped bring you to this moment. Thank you, everybody. You may be seated. This evening is a time to celebrate everything you've achieved academically, from successful co-ops to capstone publications to performances and premieres and all the hard work in between. The degrees you have earned reflect the entirety of your experience at Northeastern. Your successes, certainly, but we all learn just as much if not, sometimes more, I speak from personal experience, from our failures. The times when you didn't quite meet the mark or find the right solution. When you tried something new and it didn't go how you expected. As we go on to give recognition to a few faculty, staff, and students, I want to emphasize how important each of your contributions has been I am so proud of all that you have achieved, and we're here today to recognize each and every one of you. You are an integral part of CAMD. You have helped make it what it is today. 
And remember that after tomorrow, you will be CAMD alums, and we want you to stay in touch with us and with each other. And now you're going to be ready to bring everything you've learned out into the world, and I can't wait to see what's next for you. You're capable of great things. Congratulations, graduates of CAMD. Thank you, Dean Hudson. At this time, I would like to invite the amazing Deirdre Lockridge, Associate Dean of Academic Affairs, to the podium to recognize our faculty award winners. Good afternoon. We have such a fantastic, hardworking, and accomplished faculty in the College of Arts, Media, and Design. And it's our pleasure to recognize the breadth and range of what they do most importantly, because their work translates directly to the enthusiasm and brilliance with which they engage our students every day. Today, we have the distinct honor of acknowledging the outstanding efforts and successes of several of our distinguished faculty members in the areas of teaching, research, and service. First, we are pleased to recognize the winners of the CAMD High Impact Teaching Award which recognizes excellence in the classroom among faculty who go above and beyond in their teaching and their impact on student experience. This year, there are 10 faculty recipients of the CAMD High Impact Teaching Award. Would these 10 recipients please rise to be recognized as I call your names. Sarah Carr, James Gutierrez, Meg Heckman, Clarice Hill, Jesse Hinson, Kate, Kate Kennan, Miso Kim, Matthew Pitcher, Pitchford, Douglas Scott, Mora, Mora Weagle. Okay, let's clap now. <laughs> Next, the individual faculty awards. Would the faculty award winners please come to the front of the stage? First, we have the two CAMD Excellence in Teaching Awards. Professor Jason Donati, <laughs> we are pleased to present you with the CAMD Excellence in Teaching Award for your outstanding work in the Department of Art and Design. Congratulations, Jason. <laughs> <Profe> <laughs> Professor Miso Kim, we are pleased to present you with the CAMD Excellence in Teaching Award for your outstanding work in the Department of Art and Design. Congratulations, Miso. Next, we are pleased to recognize faculty research and service. Professor Dan Adams, we are pleased to present you with the CAMD Excellence in Research and Creative Activity Award, which recognizes a track record of significant achievement with a national and international impact. Congratulations, Dan. <laughs> Professor, Professor Hilary Porras, we are pleased to present you with the CAMD Distinguished Service Award, which recognizes your contributions to the department, college, and university. Congratulations, Hilary. Please, please join me in congratulating all our faculty award recipients. Thank you, Deirdre. At this time, I'd like to invite Tom Michael, Associate Dean of Administration and Finance, to join me at the podium to recognize our staff award winner. Good evening. Each year, the Outstanding Staff Award recognizes an individual who has established a history of remarkable performance in advancing the student, staff, and faculty experience at CAMD. We are honored to recognize this year's College of Arts, Media, and Design Staff Award winner, Hyacinth Josant. Hyacinth is an experienced production engineer who has led technological advancements in CAMD as our production studio's manager, developing an interdisciplinary culture of creative practice in his labs. 
Hyacinth, we are pleased to present you with this award for your service. Please join me in congratulating Thank you, Tom. It is now our, my pleasure to present the Camdy Graduate and Undergraduate Awards. The student award winners, please stand when your name is called to be recognized. First up, we have our Graduate Creative and Research Project Awards. Gabriel Cohen from Media Advocacy. Jolie Holmes, Information Design and Data Visualizations. Amara Youssef, Architecture. Next, we are pleased to announce our Undergraduate Creative and Research Project Awards. First up, Keisha Davies, Design. Rachel Irwin, Theater and Journalism. Scarlett Hanks, Architecture. Kiai Hone Win, Business Administration and Design. Pavithra Rajesh, Journalism. Benjamin Wakefield, Computer Science and Music. <laughs> Hannah Wong, Business Administration and Communication Studies. <laughs> you can sit now. <laughs> Next up, our Experiential Education Awards. First up, Catherine Giorgetti, Theater and History. Hannah Kabira, Communication and Media Studies. <laughs> Caleb Myers, Computer Science and Game Development. <laughs> Jake Okren, Architecture. And last, we have our Dean's Special Recognition Awards, which have been created to highlight those who have had an important impact on the community within the college, university, and beyond. First up, Sterling Yoon, Architecture. <laughs> Timothy Van Bloom, Music. <laughs> Jupiter Lay. Cultural Anthropology and Theater. <laughs> Kelly Chan, Journalism. Mark Lewis, Architecture. And Danica Jeffries, Media Innovation and Data Communication. A description of these students' projects can be found in your Keepsake program. And be sure to head to the Husky Hospitality Hub at Cabot Cage immediately after the ceremony to see our award-winning students' outstanding creative work on display. Please join me in congratulating our student award recipients. Now some words of wisdom and some words of wisdom and congratulations from your fellow classmates. I would describe my camp experience in one word as empowering. Lively. Growth. Transformative. Well-rounded. Dynamic. Eclectic. Intuitive. Unexpected. Community. If I could give a commencement speech in one tweet, it would be, be curious, be creative, and stay true. 
say success is whatever you want it to be, whether that's starting your own business or just spending time with your friends and family. So I hope for all of us that we are successful and happy. Four years in college seem long because it is actually long. Look, mom and dad, I made it. I can't believe I came this far. And honestly, I have you guys to thank for it. My professors and my friends and everyone that has helped me along the way here at Northeastern. I would say leave this place and invest in your relationships. Be genuine in all your interactions and go forward with confidence. Here we gain the skills that we need to move forward. So go out and slay. I think I'd say be glad that my commencement speech is the length of a tweet. Continue to design your life with the skills you've learned. We've come so far, we've worked through very hard times, especially my graduating class, and we've made it. Grateful for the last four years, can't wait for the next four years. Find community where you can, love them hard, and create art that makes you feel inspired. It is my very great privilege to introduce our guest speaker, John Simons. A Northeastern graduate with a combined degree in economics and journalism, John Simons has spent his three-decade career as a distinguished business journalist and editor, working for Newsweek, the Associated Press, Fortune Magazine, US News and World Report, and the Wall Street Journal, leading coverage of technology, media, personal finance, corporate diversity, and management, in addition to health, science, and energy. Among other awards, Simons has been the recipient of the Salute to Excellence Award from the National Association of Black Journalists, and was the Markle Fellow at the New America Foundation, where he focused on technology policy and economic opportunity in the digital age. He has been an active member of the School of Journalism alumni community, joining current students and faculty for panels and events to promote opportunities for early career journalists and more inclusive newsrooms. In 2021, Simons was named executive editor of Time Magazine, where he spent two years leading journalists around the globe to report on equality, leadership, rebuilding, and sustainability through the lens of business. While at Time, Simons developed a particular focus on leadership interviewing countless CEOs and studying the qualities of effective business leaders in the 21st century. Just last month, Simons joined the international advisory firm Brunswick Group, where as a partner, he will put this experience to work advising organizations on critical is issues affecting their stakeholders. Please join us in proudly welcoming back to Northeastern and to the podium, John Simons. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Hudson. Um, I didn't get the option, by the way, to, uh, to do a speech in a tweet. Um, so bear with me. I'm, I'm, uh, first of all, congratulations to the Camdy class of 2023. Congratulations to you guys. You made it through. You made it through a lot. Um, look, this weekend, you're going to hear a lot of well-deserved words of congratulations and encouragement. But I want to get real with you for a second. As you enter the workforce full time, you should be aware that there's a bit of a generational power struggle going on within the workplace, within the companies that you're about to join. There was a poll recently that asked managers and executives my age about their experiences working with people your age. And the pollsters got an earful. Did you see this in the news, anyone? According to this poll, 74% of managers and business leaders say 
that you Gen Zers, or do you like Zoomers, or what is it called, uh, are, quote, difficult to work with. Okay, all right. So the surveyors asked these people to elaborate. Why do you feel this way? You know, what's, what's going on here? So these managers said more. They have poor communication skills. They're easily offended. They have a sense of entitlement. Now let's take a step back here. Parents, administrators, uh, everyone out there, does this sound like the young people that you've spent time raising and teaching over these many years? Does this, does this describe this generation at all? No, I, I didn't think so. I have, I have a 19-year-old daughter who's a freshman in college, and this does not speak to who she is at all. So I looked deeper into this, into this survey, and get this, one of, the, one of the executives really elaborated a little more. It was like a therapy session for him. Um, he said, this is, a, this is a, the head of HR at a large global company. Quote, I butted heads more than once with a Gen Z employee because since our company is online based, they think they know everything about the digital world and that they can teach me. They think they're better than you smarter than you, more capable than you, and they will tell you to your face. <laughs> Let me just tell you, this is not the prevailing sentiment among people my age in the workplace. In my three decades as a journalist, I've talked to hundreds of business leaders, people like Apple CEO Tim Cook, Mira Marathi, the chief technology officer at OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon. Many of these leaders are painfully aware that they need to change the way business is done at their companies in order to attract the best and brightest of your generation. I believe that what's really happening, what's really being revealed in this survey is that some older workers just below the top management level are a little uncomfortable with the amount of power that your generation wields in the workplace today. Because frankly, you do have knowledge that we don't have. You do have the keys to understanding emerging technology. Your generation is, has a much healthier sense of work-life balance than my generation does. And you are outspoken about what you expect from your employers. Your generation is already changing the workplace for the better. Personally, I've learned from you. From the time I graduated from Northeastern, way, way, way back in the 1990s, until very recently, I worked in newsrooms at the Wall Street Journal, Fortune Magazine, Time, the Associated Press. In many of those places, I managed young journalists and grew increasingly more comfortable asking for their help. Because thanks to training I received here at the School of Journalism, I know how to report a news story, I knew how to write a magazine feature, how to gather data to support my story, 
all that good stuff. But until recently, I had no clue how to use, for instance, Instagram or TikTok to maximize the number of people who would read any given online story. I had no clue how to use graphical elements and photos to optimally attract a younger audience to magazine stories, to news stories. Those are useful lessons your generation taught me. Your generation also taught me valuable lessons about how you like to be managed. And I'm grateful for that. And I think therein lies the solution to this generational tension that was revealed in this, in this survey. You know, graduates like yourselves are often told that when they get into the workplace, they should find a mentor, someone who can teach them the ways of your new profession. But I'm gonna add a little twist to that. I think you should find a mentor who is not only willing to have a one-way relationship with you, where they're offering you guidance, but you should find someone who is open and willing to show a little vulnerability and learn from you. A month ago, I left journalism and embarked on an all-new career in consulting. A large part of that work involves helping leaders of organizations adapt to a new set of expectations in terms of how they treat their employees, their consumers, their shareholders, and the planet, and do that all while growing profits. So I'm going to need your help, because it's your generation that is forcing companies to think in these new ways. So everyone, please, here, look me up on LinkedIn, and let's start sharing what we know. Thank you very much to all of you, and congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, John, for those inspiring words. I'm so pleased now to be able to present a special citation to John Simons tonight. As a trusted leader of news teams, you are a dedicated advocate of journalism as a vehicle for truth and an indispensable tool to understanding the complexities of, of a civil society. As a partner at the Brunswick Group, you will draw on your three decades of experience in media and your deep understanding of the opportunities and challenges facing the technology, media, and telecoms, energy, and healthcare sectors to help clients successfully play their role in the world. As the executive editor of Time, you proved yourself to be an exceptional editor who has a natural ability to lead, inspiring those around you. You have convened conversations with the world's most influential leaders in business and tech in your studies of leadership and co-hosting Time 100 events. Educated in the fields of economics and journalism, you honed your knowledge across a variety of fields, embodying the ethos of lifelong learning central to your Northeastern education. At Time, you fed coverage, you led coverage for national business and technology news. Previously, you both reported on and led editorial strategy for top tier media organizations, including the Wall Street Journal, Fortune, International Business Times, Associated Press, and Black Enterprise. We have watched your career progress with pride and count you among our most esteemed alumni. We are grateful for your continued engagement with the School of Journalism and the College of Arts, Media, and Design, enriching the experiences of our students, faculty, and staff. Therefore, on the occasion of your address 
to the 2023 graduates of the Northeastern University College of Arts, Media, and Design, we express our heartfelt appreciation for a career devoted to storytelling for the greater good and paying your experience forward. Congratulations, John. And now it's the time we've all been waiting for. We are now ready to begin the recognition of our graduate students. As a sign of respect for all, we request that all students and guests remain in the arena until all graduate and undergraduate students from every department have been called. Will all the graduate degree candidates in the College of Arts, Media, and Design please stand, and your marshals will lead you to the stage. Antonio Ocampo Guzman, Chair of the Department of Theater, and Dan Godfrey, Chair of the Department of Music, please come forward to recognize the graduate degree candidates in interdisciplinary arts, media, and design. Candidates are receiving the following degrees. Master of Fine Arts, Interdisciplinary Arts. Master of Science, Arts Administration and Cultural Entrepreneurship. Master of Science, Creative Practice Leadership and Graduate Certificate, Arts Administration. Odisha Agarwala. Marisa Clavijo. Cheryl Gabrielle Daniel. Aparna Shikar. Sophia Victoria Pavanroth. Isabella Lonegro. Emily Alice Murphy. Caitlin Fiery. Sarah Viken. Claire Wallace. Xin Yun Wang. Julia Marie Wagner. Gabriel Cohen. Gabriel Bibliowitz. Yuki Nishida. Wijuing Chen. Alessandro Clemente. Zuchi Liu. Brennan Kaufman. Jonathan Kaufman, Director of the School of Journalism, please come forward to recognize the graduate degree candidates in journalism. Candidates are receiving the following degrees. Master of Arts, Journalism. Master of Science, Media Advocacy. And Master of Science, Media Innovation and Data Communication. Ryan Nicholas DeCorpo. Emma Casali. Madison Zagareras. Elizabeth Maria Hedges. Samaya Dixon. 
Maria Bonmeza. Sofia Perez Arias. Danica Jeffries. Xiaoxi Ma. Zhao Zhou Jovi Dai. Dan Adams, Director of the School of Architecture. Please come forward to recognize the graduate degree candidates in architecture. Candidates are receiving the following degrees. Master of Architecture and Master of Design Sustainability, Sustainable Urban Environments. Angel Melody Polydor. Miljeli Lisbeth Perez Abreu. Tessa, okay. Mia Ivory Ehrenberg. Alexandria Batiste. Zina Sabidin. Pedram Kevani. Rebecca Kathleen Treadwell. Jennifer Wilson. Demaris Fernandez Sierra. Cameron Meyer. Nicholas Hurd. And Yashu. Molly Mao Gagnet. Rebecca Lauren Eberlein. Rehan Cabo. Soha Mohammed El Taher. Shane Duart. Jackson Spicer. Riley Smith. Andrea Gomes. Greg Schuster. Jacob Gansenberg. <laughs> Jacob Dunlap. Will Chatton. Cameron Aylworth. Jordan Amelia Shelton. Daniel Ricardo Valarezo Duja. Piers Baxter Ellis. Jack Dorland. Emily Porter. Mark Charles Lewis II. Olivia Rose Ulet. Amira Youssef. Dietmar Offenhuber, Chair of the Department of Art and Design. Please come forward to recognize the graduate degree candidates in art and design and game design. Candidates are receiving the following degrees. Master of Fine Arts, Experience Design. Master of Fine Arts, Information Design and Data Visualization. Master of Science, Experience Design. Master of Science, Game Science and Design. And Master of Science, Information Design and Data Visualization. You are you. Shu Hui Zhang. Lindsay Patel. Kristen Kaylee Weaver. Ishuan Ding. Dominique Alvarado. Jolie Holmes. 
Monsi Kanpaker. Vaishnavi Ashok Savant. Anushka Ganesh Harney. Shipra Chirak Shah. Andrea Vo. Reed Wagner. Amil Sanjay Amin. Sihan Sun. Purti Hardika. Layla Doe. Emily Claire Leff. Natalie Shul. Anisha Sanjay Agarwal. Anastasia Stevens. Morgan Gelfand. Rana Jahani. Hani Patel. William Mayer. Molin Chen. Yi Lun Wang. Hu Kai Chen. Dai Jin Yang. Xiao Ma. Jia Xiang Mu. Hao Mao. Qi Qing Zhang. Ya Song Wang. Rong Shang. Ro Chang Yao Shi. Xue Qing Wang. Qi Hong Gao. Hao Yun Guang. Stefan Malakaria. Bo Wen Zhao. Bing Nan Dong. Chin Wen Maria Chu. Afraz Zakria. Mandar Warde. Kalpan Agarwal. Viraj Shirodkar. Rafal Shmiatana. Gawangju Gong. This concludes the recognition of the CAMD graduate candidates. Please give a big round of applause to all CAMD graduate students. We will now begin the recognition of our CAMD undergraduate candidates. Again, we ask out of respect for your classmates that all students and guests remain in the arena until all students have been recognized. Will all undergraduate degree candidates please stand and your marshals will lead you to the stage. Antonio Ocampo Guzman, Chair of the Department of Theater, please come forward to recognize the undergraduate degree candidates in theater. Jean Philippe Durang. <laughs> Lou Conrad. <laughs> Julia Michelle Chase. <laughs> Daniel Lutz. Alina Moreno. Aaron Marissa Solomon. Julia Louisa Lee. Isabel Lena Bushkov. 
Olivia Brache Payne. Josephine O'Jackley. Shira Letterman. Ivy Key. Hong Li Zhao. Celine Yuxel. Rachel Irwin. Catherine Giorgetti. Ren Bernholtz. Dan Godfrey, Chair of the Department of Music. Please come forward to recognize the undergraduate degree candidates in music. Nopat Chendasu. Nick Mandley. Alexandra Stadler. Eva Allman. Kyle Thomas Baker. Timothy Schuyler Van Bloom. Risa Tapanes. Aiden Braun Freck. Max Rubenstein. Avery Catherine Rush. Zach Kubiak. Samuel Rosario. Stephen Kurtz. Kiara Rose McKay. Leah Flannery. Catherine Tomlinson. Felicia Da Silveira Cabral. Zachary Klein. Serena Werner. Brian Joe. Amanda Lavery. Jonathan Eichen. Jerome Washoe. Simon Aber. Alex Churchu Ma. Benjamin Wakefield. Yihao Gao. Sage Jade Lankenfeld. Miguel Andre Anina. Jiayi Guo. Carly Monson. Morgan Forbes. Ayla Rose Hadley. Ashley Bugarella. Mark Partroski. Jonathan Kaufman, Director of the School of Journalism. Please come forward to recognize the undergraduate degree candidates in journalism. Keelan Anderson. <laughs> Katrina McKayan. Annie Probert. Nolan Piccola. Kelly Chan. Valeria Catalina Vasquez. Desmond Lafave. Jessica Bright. Alexis Santoro. Ananya Sankar. Ilana Gersted. Pavitra Rajesh. 
Ivy Marie Saltzman. Judy Lamb. Christian Marti Pena. Deanna Emily Schwartz. Priscilla Fuenmayor Pineda. Sebastian Grace. Naomi Silver. Matthew Levine. Jake Bensinger. Ariana Bennett. Kate Lauro. Jonas Ruzek. Corey Doxer. Zach Carmosino. Michael Puzingera. Asher Rappaport. Maya Homan. Paige Stern. Sarah Olander. George Alfred Barker. Avery Blightfeld. Nia Beekit. Julia Kendall Smith. Brianna Buckman. Stella Westlake. Julia Carlin. Dan Adams, Director of the School of Architecture, please come forward to recognize the undergraduate degree candidates in architecture. Daniela Zaragoza Montoya. Ming Ju. Chai Ling Kai. Carissa Xu. Sitting Chen. Lionel Bin. Noel Burke. Melissa Jacobs. Christopher Beck. Cameron Hedick. Anita Goharfar. Lena Parsh. Olivia Johnson. Theodore Kiprios. Emerson Campbell. R.P. Celine Dayan. Gloria Ha. Scarlett Elizabeth Hanks. Odell Beal. Megan Arzino. Isabella Greco. Emma Tracy. Donna Murtada. Charmaine Khan. Christina Sola Sands. Miranda Hazuri Laura. Marcela Lucia Moncara Ruiz. Soha Al Kuhemi. Sophia Pinto. Valentina Cantilana Herdoiza. Caroline Wortlieb. Jean Mongan. 
Ruby Kinosis. Joanna Dalmas Torino. Akila Iman Rashid. Shep Thompson. Eliza Alexander. Saul Mitnick. Harris Boudreau. Sterling Young. Jake O'Grant. Avery Gillerin. Nicholas Alfred Joseph Petrinferno. Magdalene Sexton Dwyer. Drew Gavin Rivera Riveral. Dietma Offenhuber, Chair of the Department of Art and Design. Please come forward to recognize the undergraduate degree candidates in Art and Design and Game Design. Fernanda Fursifur Cohen. Esther Weinberg Mizrahi. Avery McMurtry. Gianna Gleghor. Jackson F. Auric. Shu Tong Zhang. Zhe Yu Yin. Sirsha Imani Herlihi. Caroline Rose Tebow. Noah Berkowitz. Anya Marufo Zubaran. Luke Meininger. Stalo Metaxatos. Iram Aja. Jennifer Mini. Miles Blumenau. Ariel Tay. Aman Shapurvala. Chu Chen Yang. Lynn O. Corey. Mina Fletcher. Jack Vogelsang. Samantha Leo. Amanda Osman. Bei Chi Wang. Chen Wei Ju. Aiden Cook. Yu Hong Su. Catherine Morin. Drew Flaherty. Alexandra Lee Morales. Kira Justine Perryman. Devin Rayner. Ryan Patrick. Caroline Denis. Elizabeth Torres Zamarripa. Kelly Tan Deng. Ana Maria Moreno Mora. Vedika Saraf. Elena Boggio. Shayla Leilani Morphy. Brooke Elmore. Ellie Johnson. Gabriela Elena Lehman Rodriguez. Morea Dick. 
Riley Cowell. Michelle D'Alessandro. Shuyong Chen. Phoebe Lin. Yunsing Lee. Fei Yang Shu. Jin Dong Zhen. Zhen Shu Dei. Ananya Dandapani. Kessia Davies. Denisha Barwani. Sophia Angelina Petrucci. Gwen Cranton. Dinara Kwanisheva. Maisa Scott. Gabrielle Sedinum Ido. Gina Israel. June Turbeville. Caleb Myers. Eric Oluafunke Ojo. Molly Jane Harries. Michelle Kalandu Musili. Paul Corfidge. Allison McCabe. Samuel Jacob Klein. Jaime Quaternick. Ryan Lewis. Jackson Valetra. Claire Higgins. Renee Elizabeth Pierce. Sadhana Pakala. Jesse Futterman. Madison Niebling. Cameron Sevilla McAllister. Corey Luke. Wendy Gia. Emily Wong. Jonathan Ma. Aisha Samake. Caroline Brzezinski. Gabriel Reed. Sophia Chun. Ali Glenn. Jacob Livingston. Eliana Mather. Sarah Franco. Kaya Delochi. Lauren Stubbs. Samantha Crott. Juliet Isaacs. Georgia Hoffman. Hannah Kim. Jasmine Yu. Kai Huan Nguyen. Nina Dim. Elizabeth Keiko Doyle. Eric Waxdahl. Sarah Gordon. Getonga Wagwa. Maddie Kelly. Jamie Wong. Maeve Willis Logan. Maria Elena Villar.
Chair of the Department of Communication Studies. Please come forward to recognize the undergraduate degree candidates in Communication Studies and Media and Screen Studies. Chi Yue Ada Zhang. Zoe Duka. Zhou Yong Jin. Janie Doucette. Yi Chen Jiang. Ji Fan Fu. Yuxin Ouyang. Sarah McConkey. Yunjin Park. Abigail Johnson. Georgia De Jesus. Grace Novoa. Kalina Fung. May Horani. Ria Kapoor. Kimberly Roselle. Grace Alisa. Cameron Jamison. Rihanna Matani. Al Anud Al Marzu. Julia Diamante Azevedo. Greta Westcott. Isabel Gonzalez. Sophie McArdle. Estelle Louise Hamilton. Laura Arab. Noor Al Qadi. Michaela Joyce. Francesca Bailey. Margaret Mulvihill. Isabella Mokani. Nikita Dilwali. Nina Ellery Lustosa Furtado de Oliveira. Hannah Kabira. Natasha Lee. Nora Koppel. Joshua Cheskis. Christian Gomez. Leah Holt. Pippa Lincoln Lenderking. Elise Bowl. Annie Yen. Emily Bonet. Lucas Durand. Lacey Forrett. Dove Kaufman. Matthew Rose. Sandra Lopez. Sophia Wax. Remy Weisblatt. Allison Choi. Inika Shetty. Hannah Rossman. Juan Ellis Ochoa. John Terreri Fuchs. Anna Julia Saknowitz. Lena Setagas Hare. Jordan Barron. Kylie Roberts. Kathleen Doherty. 
Sarah Lamati. Leanne Marie Dauadri. Andrea Cristina Brusual Frias. Romina Velarde. Annabella Benhamron. Paige Michelle Keeler. Roxanne Welch. Catherine Kwan. Grace McNamara. Patrick Simon Arnold. Chin Yu Liang. Zhuan Yu Chen. Ruid Lu. Sarah Beckhouse. Danielle Feinstein. Shin Yu Bin. Patrick James Morahan. Hasten Chu. Nicole Kramer. Justine Chen. Sophie Weaver. Victoria Lee. Sabrina Rigby. Martha Gammy. Benjamin Mushinsky. Calvary Dominique. Tyler William Martin Spot. Patrick Lester. Brady Thomas Joyce. Canva. Elizabeth Kui. Evelyn Wong. Tiffany Lee. Yu Ji. Su Jia Pang. Jing Yi Ye. Awi Aisiko. Adam Regenstreif. Marie Siopi. Lauren Marie Walsh. Sydney Schechter. Hannah Wong. Jillian Brown. Michael Henshaw. Guillaume Chatelain. Colton Thorpe Sai. Kennedy Verse. Avery Parker. Mitra Sharif. Shalana Williams. Tiana Mudzimurema. Emma Lindwall. Madeline Gershon Butler. Malapi Reddy. Hail Christine Wang. Andre Machado. Cece Tang. This concludes the recognition of the undergraduate students. Please continue your round of applause for all Candy undergraduate students.
I now invite Dean Hudson back to the podium to give our final remarks. Wow, how great. Congratulations, all of you. Um, I do want to take a moment to thank the organizers of the event. It's taken a tremendous amount of work to pull together, so thanks to everybody there. I would also like to thank the faculty and academic advisors who are serving as marshals today, and all the faculty and staff across CAMD who throughout the year are so instrumental to the success of our students. Let's give them all a round of applause. All students and their families are invited to join us at Cabot Cage for refreshments following the celebration. It's a really great place to have a party and take pictures, so please go there. It's going to be a lovely celebration. While you're there, don't forget to scan the codes you see on table signs to submit your contact information so we can stay in touch. Proudly display the pin you received today on your gown. Consider all that you have achieved and remember that wearing it on Sunday at Fenway represents your transition to a new Northeastern experience as alumni. Congratulations, everyone. See you at Fenway tomorrow. We will now begin the recession. Guests, please remain seated until the platform party, faculty, and graduate candidates have recessed from the arena, at which time you can rejoin your candidate at the garage behind the arena. Faculty and graduate candidates, please rise and follow the platform party in the recessional. <laughs>
Thank you. 